this is lecture 9 in signals and systems so in this uh, lecture i am going to do some problems on discrete time signals uh, this is the question given first one x of n is equal to cos 2n so is it uh, is it periodic or not now i told you already <coughs> whenever if it is a discrete sequence whenever cos or um, e, e, exponential is not containing pi it is a not periodic signal right that is so we have to compare with this one as a cos omega naught n plus pi so from this what is omega naught is equal to 2 now we know that m by n is equal to omega naught by 2 pi or n is equal to 2 pi by omega naught into m <coughs> right now 2 pi by omega naught is given 2 so into m 2 to cancel it is pi into m so pi is a irrational number so it is not a periodic signal not a periodic right so there is a blind rule if omega naught is not considering pi it is not a periodic similarly you can directly tell this one is not a periodic signal right <coughs> that is the first question next we will see sin 6 pi by 7 n plus 1 if it is a periodic then what is a period again n is equal to omega naught by 2 pi by omega naught into m so what is omega naught omega naught is nothing but 6 pi by 7 so 2 pi by 6 pi by 7 into m pi pi cancel 2 3 so it is 7 by 3 m now what is the smallest integer to make this n is equal to integer value so the moment if i substitute m is equal to 3 so this will become 7 so what is the time period is nothing but 7 <coughs> similarly this is cos 0.1 pi the moment pi is there it is a periodic so n is equal to 2 pi by omega and that is 0 0.1 times of pi into m pi pi cancel so 2 by 0 0.1 can i write like this 20n now what is the smallest integer m so m is equal to 1 n is 20 is the period right now there is a different question draw the signals suppose this is the is given and this is given so we have to draw the waveform now we know that u of n is at 0 we will have 1 at 1 1 at 2 1 and so on it will be same right first we need to find u of n plus 2 what is u of n plus 2 it is the left shift left shift by 2 uh, that means for every each term add minus 2 add minus 2 minus 2 that means it will start from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and so on this is the u of n plus 2 similarly what is u of n minus 2 it is the delayed version that is delayed by 2 that means we need to add plus 2 that means it will start from 2 3 4 and up to etc the amplitude is 1 right now we have to subtract this u of n plus 2 from i mean uh, u of n minus 2 from u of n plus 2 now if you see minus 2 to 1 so this is not having any value so it will be minus 2 minus 1 0 and 1 you will have same as u of n plus 2 from u of m n minus 2 that is 2 this is having it 1 this is having a 1 so 1 minus 1 will get 0 that means after the 2 we will get 0 so what is the term minus 2 to 1 is the final diagram that is u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 2 so like this we can draw any number of signals in like this one next one is 1 by 2 power n into u of n plus 3 <coughs> that is also same 1 by 2 power n u of n plus 3 the moment you see n plus 3 the circ uh, the waveform will start from the that is plus 3 so that will start from minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 etc 
now the moment 1 by 2 power n so 1 by 2 power minus 3 so 1 by 2 power minus 3 is nothing but 2 cube so it will be 8 then 1 by 2 power minus 2 2 square that will be 4 next one uh, minus 1 that is 2 at 0 it will become 1 at 1 it will become 0 0.5 0 0.25 etc so it will be decaying function so this is a one more example discrete next we will see some operation that is suppose x of n is given like this right so at 0 we are having 0 at 1 1 2 2 but again 3 is 1 so what first we need to do first one is 2 into x of n see there is no shifting operation or scaling the amplitude will be scaled so 2 into x of n is 0 means 0 at 1 it will become 2 at 2 it, is, it was 2 now it will become 4 at 3 again it will be 2 so here amplitude scaling is happening similarly for this also amplitude scaling so that means this will become 1 by 3 this will become 2 by 3 again this will become 1 by 3 this is n 1 2 3 this is this 1 by 3 x of n right so this is about this one and this one next one is x of n minus 2 that means <coughs> this is delayed version so it will be delayed by 2 so at g 2 we will get 0 at 1 i mean 1 is shifted by 2 times that means 3 at 3 we will get 1 at 4 we will get 2 at 5 again we will get 1 see 3 plus 2 5 2 plus 2 4 1 plus 2 3 so 3 4 5 this is n it's not required in this uh, 0 that is a uh, this 2 but anyway we can make it as 1 is also 0 0 something like this so this is x of n minus 2 <coughs> next one is x of minus n minus 2 so we know x of n is this one x of n is 1 1 2 2 3 1 now there is a two methods uh, we have discussed in the continuous time signals first simply shift x of n minus 2 right so what is x of n minus 2 so we can make it as so 3 this is 2 4 this is 5 right then we will shift the this one so x of minus of n minus 2 so now we will be making the reversal so it will become minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 this is 1 this is 2 this is 1 this is the first approach right what is the second approach take minus common minus of n plus 2 <coughs> right now what we need to do first reversal so first we will do x of minus n that is so it will become reversal means so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 right then so once it is done then we will do the shifting that is x of minus of n plus 2 again it is right left shift only so it will go like this so minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 so minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 again minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 so this is the other way of approach this is 1 this is 2 so you can first simply first do the n minus 2 then simply reverse or take minus common first do the reversal then shift the whole term by left shift so first you have to do right shift then reversal or first do the reversal then left shift so both will get same next the last one is <coughs> x of 2n plus 1 right x of 2n plus 1 so what is x of n 1 2 1 so 1 2 3 this is 0 this is x of n again two methods first we will go for x of n plus 1 how to do one left shift so 0 we will get 1 1 we will get 2 2 we will get 1 
so one left shift then do the scaling that is x of 2n plus 1 that means every term divide with 2 so by 2 by 2 by 2 now whenever uh, here we are getting a decimal so it will be neglected so at 0 we will get same as 1 and uh, 2 by 2 means 1 so we will get 2 by 2 as 1 so this is n so at a 2 or I mean uh, so 1 by 2 means 0.5 it will be neglected so only we will get integers so only 0 and 1 we will get so it's like a compressed version right so 0 and 1 here 0 1 2 now it is only for 0 and 1 this is the x of 2n plus 1 right I, I hope you got the some uh, uh, concepts through this uh, shifting or reversal etc right so in the next lecture we will see the classification of signals like uh, even signal odd signal power signal etc right that we will see in the next lecture